What do we do if we find the design is missing information or we can't make sense of it? What about if we want to change something? A request for information, or RFI for short, is a formal document prepared by the construction team and issued to the design team requesting clarification or approval for a design issue. RFIs are also referred to as technical queries or TQs for short. They are effectively questions that need answering. Why do RFIs arise? Well, there are several reasons, including missing information from the design, incorrect information, inconsistencies between drawings or supplied information, clashes between objects, and value engineering proposals. Basically anything that involves a change to the approved drawings will require an RFI. The RFI process is relatively straightforward. It begins with the construction team identifying an issue or proposed change. They then complete the RFI form and send it to the design team. Usually it goes to the design manager first, who will then decide which designer to allocate the RFI to. The designer team will then prepare a response and issue it back to the construction team. There may be some back and forward in this stage depending on whether or not the construction team is happy with the response. In some instances, they may not believe the response is correct or it is still missing information. In some situations, the RFI will need to be submitted to the client for their approval. This will be required if there is a significant change to the approved design. Once all parties are happy with the RFI response, construction works can proceed. The design change associated with the RFI will be captured as a red line markup on the drawings and eventually included in the as-built drawing set. The RFI can now be closed out. RFI forms are relatively simple and easy to fill out. They are a formal way of documenting correspondence with the design team. At the top of the form, we enter basic information like the RFI number. This is a sequential number we would get from the RFI register. Then we put in the date of the RFI, who it was submitted to, who it was submitted by, and the project name and number. We also need to enter an RFI reason. We need to note down, is the RFI because of missing or inaccurate design information, or is it a proposed value engineering change by the construction team? This is important to note because it has commercial implications for the designer. Every hour of work the designers do costs money. If it takes eight hours for two engineers to prepare an RFI response, there is obviously going to be a significant cost associated with this. If the RFI is because of a design error or omission, then the design consultant will not be paid additionally for this. If the RFI is because of a proposed value engineering change, then the design consultant will be paid for the hours they have worked on the RFI. Next, we need to note the drawing reference. This is the drawing or drawings that are affected by the RFI. Then we need to complete the RFI description. What is the actual question we are asking and what information do we need from the design team? It is good practice to attach drawings and photos that help explain the question. The old saying a picture tells a thousand words is very applicable when it comes to RFIs. If we are proposing a value engineering change to the design team, we need to make sure we have done our background research and be confident that we will be allowed to proceed with the change before submitting the RFI. The design team will then respond to our query and, if we are happy with it, implement the change in the field. If we are not happy with their response, we may need to go back and forwards a couple of times to clarify. Let's now look at an example RFI. This RFI is to cover missing setout information for a new light pole foundation we need to install. At the top, we have all of the RFI background information. The RFI number is 16, which would come from the RFI register. It has been submitted to ADC Consulting, the designers, on the 22nd of October. It was submitted by John Smith from JXY Consulting on the WRP Road Upgrade Project. The reason for the RFI is a design omission. This means the information should have been in the IFC design, but by the fault of the designers, was not. The drawing reference has also been noted down. The question for the designers has been clearly articulated. Light pole foundation number 32 is missing set out information. Can the design team please confirm the set out location and heights of the foundation? Please provide eastings, northings, and top of concrete. A markup of the foundation in question has also been provided on the RFI form. The design team then respond with the requested information. Assuming this set out information was correct, the construction team could then install the foundation in this location and close the RFI. The construction team would mark up this information on their red line drawing set which we will talk about later on in this section, and the as-built drawings would be drafted to capture this. Lots of changes arise through the course of a construction project, and documenting these changes is critically important. That is why a formal process exists to obtain information from the design team during the construction phase.